Kobe and Sarah Adlington. Yes, you go. Adlington's not going to let her out of there. Hello and welcome to EUTV Sport. To celebrate this Girl Can Week, we're chatting to Commonwealth gold medalist judoka Sarah Adlington. Sarah's going to talk to us about her achievements in judo and the importance of wider female participation in sport. So Sarah, hi. Um, you were in The Hague this weekend for the Grand Prix. How did that go? Um, so, um, I ended up getting a uh, bronze medal in the Hague Grand Prix, um, so now I'm 18th in the world. It wasn't my best performance, but um, to come away from, with a medal on a day that it's not your best performance is a good thing. Yeah, I mean, it's better than my <laughs> worst performance, so... Um, and so, as we mentioned, this week is This Girl Can't Week, which is about widening female participation in sport. Um, how important do you think it is to encourage young women to get involved in sport? Um, so for me, I've been involved in sport all my life and it's made me the person I am today. So I think like if you've got the opportunity to take part in any sport, like try everything. Um, like when you're younger and then you'll find sport that, that, that's for you. So did you try lots of sports before you ended up at judo? Um, so I've done judo since a young age, but when I was at school I played football, I played hockey. Um, unfortunately, women's rugby wasn't massive, or I think I would have quite enjoyed <laughs> playing the rugby, but yeah. So how did you end up at judo then? Um, my dad, my dad done judo when he was younger, and my brother, um, who's older than me, did judo, and I just used to go and watch him. And I couldn't wait till I was five till I was able to start. So, yeah. Well, that literally has been like going on. Like yeah, pretty much. Um, so, do you think that judo has contributed to your like well-being, your confidence? Um, definitely. I, I think that like judo has made me the person I am today. Like, um, at school, like I wasn't the most confident confident person but like throughout sport I think like it, you grow and if you surround yourself with good people like I have with judo then yeah you definitely grow as a person. So can you maybe give us some like details of like kind of your journey throughout judo because we obviously know you ended up winning gold at a Commonwealth Home Games so what was kind of the process leading up to that? Um, lots of ups and downs to becoming a Commonwealth champion. Um, so I started judo when I was five um, just recreationally, like in the local judo club. Um, I think it, I didn't really start competing until I was like 14, 15, something like that. And then uh, when I finished school, um, I decided that judo was what I wanted to do. And when I was after my A levels, I moved to Edinburgh to do judo and um, full time judo and like to see as far as I could get. Um, I have had ups and downs with injuries and operations and, and stuff like that. Um, it was touch and go whether I was going to fight the Commonwealth at one stage. So I had an operation in the March of 2014, so it was touch and go. Oh, that's, yeah. yeah, so, um, but it's just a, many little stepping stones, I guess, contribute to becoming Commonwealth champion. And so that moment where you became Commonwealth champion, can you describe what that was like? Um, Unbelievably, like, like I was sort of expected to win, and if I hadn't have won, it it would have been everything, and it would have been like a total devastation. But winning, like, it was what I was I was there to do. So it just was not like the whole experience was amazing. But like winning, I was expected to win. So then obviously that's a lot of pressure. So when yeah. I won, it was just like full the next day. But if I'd have won up the next day and hadn't won, then I think like it would have been total devastation. Yeah, so it kind of almost didn't feel like very much had happened or it didn't quite sink in. Yeah, like obviously I was relieved and like the whole experience and like being Commonwealth champion, I don't, it will never leave you, but like I was I was expected to win, I think, so like that put pressure on, so then when you do win, then it's just like, it's yeah. you've done what you were meant to do. Did you have quite a straightforward route to the title? Um, so, because I hadn't fought since the Commonwealth were in July and I hadn't competed since the March, then it was like, like stressful in that in that yeah. sense, um, and I hadn't done a lot of judo, um, so nothing's ever straightforward. <laughs> um, so, some women and young girls argue that their access to sport is kind of restricted by a lack of like female role models within sport. 
Um, would you agree with that? Um, I think that sometimes, like as females, we can use that as an excuse, and I think, like, you can get to where you want to be. I, I guess if you've got role models, then 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 it's easier to aim for that. But there's there's plenty of positives out there, like mm. for for women in sport and for women young females to get involved in sport, especially now. Yeah. Did you have any role models in particular? Um, not so much. Like. I just enjoyed playing sport for myself and like what come about sport and I can't say as I like really had a massive role model when I was younger. Um, so what would your advice be to like a female student that was kind of struggling to get involved with sport? Um, I think like try like try there's so many different sports you can play, especially at u university yeah. when you're a student that like there's definitely one out there that's for you and like if you're not quite sure what that is then to, to try as many as you can before you do find that, that one that is for you.